it's now the next day. Um, yesterday I made the ice ball. I thought we had the clear cold conditions necessary to do uh, the entire test, but about noontime it clouded up and then it started to snow. And we got a couple inches of snow last night. Um, this morning I'm walking around here in the woods looking for tinder because uh, the sky's cleared up and I think uh, today about noontime we're going to try and light a fire with the ice lens. But I've got uh, about the only resource I've got in the area is grass. You can see this stuff here is covered in snow. But underneath it's pretty dry. So I'm going to harvest a bunch of this stuff and see if I can uh, get a fire going. Here's an assortment of the different kinds of tinder I was able to collect here in the forest. I've got uh, several different types of grass. These are a weed with little tiny seed heads on it. Another type of grass and uh, this grass has nice seed heads. I left my ice lens down here uh, below this tree and covered it up with some leaves so the snow wouldn't pile up on it too much. There's my frosty little ice ball. Let's take a look at it and see how this worked. Alright, this is the first test of the uh, ice lens. Let's see if I can actually light tinder on fire with it. It's about 11.15. We're going to see if I got enough sunlight. I should have enough sunlight to uh, light this on fire. I am going to use uh, char cloth. I figure if I can't get char cloth to light, I would have absolutely no chance of getting natural tinder to light. And uh, we'll see how it goes with char cloth. And uh, maybe we'll have fire here in a minute. Just made a coal with fire with char cloth. Let's see if I get this on camera. And there you have it, fire from ice. <laughs> All right. Whew. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> um, it does beg the question, charcoal is about the easiest thing to light on fire with a lens. Uh, it's black, it's already burnt. It's uh, very, very easy to light charcoal on fire. And uh, this lens concentrates light, obviously enough to light charcoal on fire, so it does beg the question uh, as to whether I could light natural tinder and get a coal. We'll see if we can do it again here. Get a better camera angle this time. I've got to be honest, I was actually kind of pessimistic about the chances of getting a coal, with the, uh, even with the char cloth because it didn't seem like the beam of light was actually focusing enough to generate that much heat. I and mean, I could even feel it against my hand, but as soon as I hit it to that char cloth, the char cloth just absorbed so much heat that uh, all of a sudden it turned white in the middle and lit right up. Let's see if we can do it now with some uh, plant wool. I am getting a little tiny bit of smoke with this right now. Okay, well, <laughs> there you have it. The best I could do um, 
was it a fair test? I only used Swiss Army knife. I did harvest the ice right down there in the creek. Um, all the fire making materials, with the exception of the char cloth, I harvested right here in this uh, forest. I could not get a coal with natural materials. Uh, the only way I was able to actually make that lens work was with the char cloth. Um, without it, I would not have stood a chance of making a fire out here. So, in terms of a pure survival test, I failed, absolutely. And making a lens out of natural ice and making a fire with it, uh, here with just the resources I had in the forest and the Swiss Army knife. Uh, char cloth is great stuff, but it is the best tinder, the single best tinder to use uh, when lighting a fire with a lens. It takes a, makes a coal almost instantly. Uh, I had no trouble at all lighting char cloth into a coal with uh, an ice lens. Um, so I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not this is a fair test. I did make, technically make, uh, fire from ice, uh, but I did have to resort to char cloth to get it to work. And uh, it can be done, but uh, man, I wouldn't want to do it. Like I said in the other video, absolutely friction fire is your best bet for this, this kind of situation. So the theory is all there. Light shining through ice can be concentrated into a beam which is hot enough at least to light char cloth, but uh, I would not want to use this as a tactic for surviving in the winter time. You had to have perfect conditions. On the day that I harvested the ice, it was overcast, but it was nice clear ice and there wasn't any snow on the ground. The next day I actually carved the ice ball and uh, then we got overcast skies and it, and it snowed all night. I was not able to get natural materials to light using this method. Um, so I succeeded in a way. I'm happy though, I made fire with ice. <laughs>